Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. When we think about ethical hacking, one name often pops up, Kali Linux. Yes, this powerful distro is known as the hacker's paradise. But should you be using it as your primary OS? Spoiler alert, the answer is a resounding no. But why? First, let's understand what Kali Linux is. It's an open-source Linux distribution, specifically designed for advanced penetration testing and security auditing. It comes packed with hundreds of tools for various information security tests, including penetration testing, security research, computer forensics, and reverse engineering. Sounds great, right? So why shouldn't you use it as your main OS? Let's dive into the reasons. Why you shouldn't use Kali Linux as your main OS? First, it runs as root by default. Running an operating system as root means giving complete control to all software on your system. This can be catastrophic if you accidentally run malicious software. Most regular Linux distributions use a non-root user for safety, but Kali doesn't, making it risky for daily use. Second, it lacks convenience features. Unlike other Linux distributions, Kali Linux is designed for professional use in testing environments. It doesn't prioritize user-friendliness or convenience. So if you're looking for a smooth everyday experience, Kali may not be the best choice. By the way, if you like Kali Linux, make sure to like this video. Do you need to browse the internet, watch Netflix, or edit documents? Well, Kali Linux isn't built for that. It's designed for security testing and auditing, nothing more. Trying to use it for everyday tasks can lead to frustration and inefficiencies. Using Kali Linux as your main OS might lead to unnecessary suspicion. If you're an ethical hacker working on client-side projects, using Kali as your primary system could set off alarms and even get you blocked. So, should you ever use Kali Linux? Absolutely. Kali Linux is an invaluable tool for ethical hackers, but it's all about using it correctly. Here's how you should run it. Live system. Run it as a live OS from a USB drive. Virtual machine. Use Kali inside a virtual environment like VirtualBox or VMware. Secondary OS, dual boot with another operating system for better control and safety. This way, you maintain security while keeping your regular tasks running smoothly on your main OS. If not Kali, then what? Now you might be wondering, if not Kali Linux, then what should I use as my primary OS? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Ubuntu, the best alternative. Ubuntu is a popular Linux distribution that is user-friendly. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced Linux user, Ubuntu's intuitive interface makes it easy to use and stay productive. Secure. With built-in firewall and virus protection software, Ubuntu is one of the most secure operating systems available. Plus, unlike Kali, it doesn't run as root by default, adding an extra layer of security. Community-supported Ubuntu has a large active community. Whether you're troubleshooting an issue or trying to learn more, help is always available. So remember, Kali Linux is a tool, not a daily driver. Use it wisely and you'll go a long way in the world of ethical hacking. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech insights. See you in the next one.